Mm. Welcome. Welcome to the Jiva Happiness Hour, the first of our attempts to bring joy into your world every Friday at 4 p.m. on our Facebook page. I'm Mark Huddy, Artistic Director of Jiva Theatre Center. I'm here among the hills of Ireland, also in my kitchen. And I am joined today by the cast of our recent hit musical, Once. And this is what we call St. Patrick's Day postponed. Hi, everybody. You can unmute now and say hello. Hello. Hi. Everybody. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Thanks for Zooming Hi. with us, everyone. I was honored to direct this musical and work alongside these immensely talented folks, and I miss them. Uh, so they have generously agreed to come together today via Zoom. Now, Raise your hand if you've never heard a Zoom before like three weeks ago, right? Okay, now it's a, yes, it's a household word. Uh, so they're coming together for a music session or a session in Irish, which is an informal gathering of musicians to share songs and perhaps some good crack. You know what crack is? Okay, C-R-A-I-C, crack. It's Irish for lively conversation, banter, and all around good time, which we're gonna have this afternoon. So uh, over to Kurt, who's gonna start us off. Kurt. Oh. <laughs> How are you? Hey. I'm drinking what I call a Simon and Garfunkel drink, which is vodka and lime. <laughs> if anybody gets that reference. <laughs> I was in the production of Once at Jiva. I just lost my pick. Uh, I played Da, and uh, hopefully will again. And I have another pick-me-up song here, sort of apropos. It's an old Dylan tune, so bear with me if I make sure I'm in the right key. They say every man must need protection. They say every man must fall. But I swear I see my reflection. Someplace so high above the wall I see my light come shining From the west down to the east Any day now Any day now I shall be Down here next to me in this lonely crowd There's a man who swears he's not to blame All day long I hear him crying out so loud Calling out that he's been framed Seen my light come shining From the west down to the east Any day now Any day now I shall be relieved Any day now, oh Lord Any day now I shall be Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I made it. <laughs> awesome, Kurt. Thank, thank you. you. Now I can drink. Uh, thank you for the <laughs> now you can drink. <laughs> well, I'm glad we pre-recorded. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for going first. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so the Cape Runs Five pre-recorded so we could get boozy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now putting on a background. There you go. <laughs> Hey, I want to introduce, uh, throw it over to Sam, yeah. Samantha. Yes. 
Hi, you want to intro yourself? Oh, I love that. Fantastic. Yes. Hey, um, I'm Sam. I played Girl in Once, and this is the folk song Red is the Rose, and I was accompanied by Kent down there. Yay! Um, yeah, so here it is. over the hills, my bonny Irish lad. Come over the hills to your darling. You choose the rose, love, and I will make the bow, and I'll be your true love forever. It's not for the loss of my mother. It's all for the loss of my bonny Irish lad. That my heart is broken forever. Red is the rose that by yonder garden blows. Fair is the lily of the valley, clear is the water that falls from the vine, but my love is fairer than Thanks so much, Sam and Kent. You know, the once cast and crew gave their last public performance on March the 12th. Yeah, we did. We still had a week and a half of performances left and we had to shut down for the pandemic. But people loved it. People were loving the show and it pained us to close prematurely. So fortunately, we we're able to have one final private performance on March 15th that we could video record with three cameras and offer it to the world. And it's now available on our website, jivatheater.org. Check it out. That's why we're having this postponed St. Patrick's Day. We stopped before St. Patrick's Day. Check out and you can get the video. You can rent it for 24 hours. So you could watch it 10 or 12 times in a row. Uh, jivatheater.org. It's time for Nick. It's always time for Nick. Yay. <laughs> I muted in the wrong place. <laughs> Slancha. Slancha. So, this song was written by a Scottish fellow, but e Elliot will tell you it doesn't matter. And uh, it's actually the song I played the first time I auditioned for once the musical. So here you go. Says Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike. 
girl could feel special on any such light. Says James to Red Molly, my hat's off to you. That's a Vincent Black Lightning, 1952. And I've seen you on the corners and the cafes, it seems. Red hair and black leather, my favorite color scheme. And he pulled her on behind and down to Box Hill. They did right. Says James to Red Molly, here's a ring for your right hand. And I'll tell you in earnest, I'm a dangerous man. Fought the law since I was 17. And I've robbed many a man to get my Vincent machine. Now I'm 21 years and I might make 22. And I don't mind dying, but for the love of you. And if fate should break my stride, I'll give you my Vincent to ride. Come down, come down, Red Molly calls Sergeant McRae. But they've taken young James 80 for arm robbery. Shotgun blast, hit his chest, left nothing inside. Come down, Red Molly, to his dying bedside. When she got to the hospital, there wasn't much left. He was running out of road, he was running out of breath. But he smiled to see her cry. He said, I'll give you my Vincent to ride. Says young James, in my opinion, there ain't nothing in this world. Beat a 52 Vincent and a red-headed girl. No Nortons and Indians and Greaves won't do. They don't have a soul like a Vincent 52. And he reached out his hand and he slipped her the keys. He says, I've got no further use for these. I see angels on aerials in leather and chrome. They're coming to get me, to carry me home. And he gave her one last kiss and died. And he gave her his Vincent to ride. Hey, Great song. So, I brought along a couple limericks. <laughs> and I thought I, I, I brought two of them. And I thought I'd give you two of them at once. Fantastic. The limerick packs laughs anatomical into space that is quite economical. <laughs> but the good ones I've seen so seldom are clean, and the clean ones so seldom are comical. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one I have is, uh, there was an old drunkard of Devon who died and ascended to heaven. But he cried, this is Hades. There are no naughty ladies, and the pubs are all shot by 11. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's my contribution to you. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. That's fantastic. There was um, a tinker from Dingle. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, by the way, I, sorry, if I, hadn't, if I hadn't made it clear, I'm Nick and I played Billy at once. Yeah. And behind you is? Behind me is McSorley's Ale House uh, in the East Village. It's a really wonderful place, although I did learn recently that did, they did not let women into McSorley's into the 70s, which is an unfortunate blight on their record. But they do now, and uh, uh, hopefully they're doing well. <laughs> if they're doing takeout, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, really raw onions and cheddar. Yeah. That's what they serve there. <laughs> so, I have a limerick. Does anyone else have a limerick they'd like to share? Uh, I, 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 I have one I wrote this morning. Uh-oh. <laughs> remember, had, these had to be clean. Okay. 
Here it is. <clears throat> Here's my clean limerick. Uh, there once was a man from Kilkenny who complained he didn't get any. Oh. So his wife said, quit yelping. Come get another helping. Stop looking like a martyred Jack Benny. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really obscure though, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, not to some of us. <laughs> and yes, for the young people, yes. Obscure. Obscure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jack. There it is. Anyone else have a limerick they'd like to share at the moment? Hope. All right. Well, then, unfortunately, Maggie, you have to follow that, but it won't be difficult. <laughs> All right. I'll try my best. So, hi everybody, I'm Maggie Hollenbeck, and I did play Barushka in our lovely production. Uh, I'm going to sing a Bob Dylan song called You're Gonna Make Me Lonesome When You Go, which is one of my favorite songs to sing. Um, but today I'm going to dedicate it to my mom, who has been self-isolating now for three weeks. And I imagine that this is what she sings to herself every time she sees the UPS driver. <laughs> I've seen love go by my door. It's never been this close before. It's never been so easy or so slow. I've been shooting in the dark too long. If something's not right, it's wrong. You're gonna make me lonesome when you go. Purple clover, Queen Anne's lace, and crimson hair across your face. You can make me cry, you don't know. I don't remember what I was thinking of. You might be spoiling me too much love. You're gonna make me lonesome when you go. So high above, and I've only known careless love that always hit me from below. This time around, it's more correct, it's right on target, so direct. You're gonna make me lonesome when you go. Flowers on the hillside going crazy, crickets talking back and forth in a rhyme. Blue river running slow and lazy. Yeah, I can stay with you forever and never realize the time. But situations have ended sad. Relationships have all been bad. Might have been like bear lanes and rambles. But there's no way I can compare all them scenes with this affair. You're gonna make me lonesome when you go. Oh, you're gonna make me wonder what I'm doing. Staying far behind without you. You're gonna make me wonder what I'm saying. And gonna make me give myself a good talking to. But I will look for you in Honolulu, San Francisco, Ashtabula. You're gonna have to leave me now, I know. But I'll see you in the skies above in the tall grass and the ones I love. You're gonna make me lonesome when you go. You're gonna make me lonesome. That song. Right. Gorgeous. Oh, oh, that song. <laughs> wow. Cool. Hey.
Beautiful. Thanks so much, Maggie. Thanks so much. In case you're just tuning in, this is uh, Jiva's new happiness hour. Fridays at four o'clock. Every Friday at four o'clock, we're going to have some entertainment um, that uh, from our special friends. Uh, different every week. So come on back next week uh, too. But we're only partially way through. Don't don't leave now unless you know you need to get a beverage. So uh, here's over to Billy. Billy, are you ready? Hello, I'm ready. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Billy. Okay. I'm gonna. Be, I'm Billy. I was playing Schwetz in Once, uh, who's one of the characters. So he probably wouldn't. Well, actually, he probably he might know this song because it's a really famous Irish folk hymn that Glenn Hansard, who wrote Once, loves, and he performs all the time in his concert. Um, it's called the Old Triangle. And apparently, our director Mark did it a show in New York in 1982. The more you know. Came on me stealing, and the mighty was wheeling in my prison cell, and the old triangle when jingle. better than I did. It's a true off-Broadway 1982, the American premiere of Brian Friel's play Volunteers. I don't know. Oh, wow. I know, right? I'm old. Wow. I am so... You did a Brian Friel premiere? No, nah, it was an American premiere, yeah. I'm so obscenely jealous of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it was a play about the IRA uh, and uh, called Volunteers because, you know, once you're in, you... Why don't you volunteer once? You can't get out. And uh, and I, uh, one of our co-stars, I was, I was, uh, I played one of the two leads and one of our actually supporting players, but of course stole the show was John Goodman. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was back in the day, right? Okay. Wow. So there you go. But Billy, that was sublime. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Hey, I just want to take a moment to talk about actors. Musicians, dancers, playwrights, directors, designers, dramaturgs, all of the theater artists who aren't employed at an institutional theater, such as Jiva, they're all freelancers. They're part of the gig economy. They are also conditioned to come together for 
an insanely intense period of time to create something wonderful, a new theater production. We do it in, we put it together in a month and we perform for a month or so. It's insane. But all theater workers, including the artisans, technicians, craftspeople who make these beautiful entities, are natural collaborators. They thrive on working together, just as audiences are fulfilled by gathering in a theater venue to form a new, albeit brief, community. Our work is ephemeral, yet it is an integral part of the fabric of a civilized society. We need theater's unique call to social interaction. So this social distancing and isolation, look at all of us in different places, different apartments, different houses, can present personal challenges. However, our instincts are to connect and share. And this session is a way to activate our interactive art form. So thanks for playing along. Hey, Rachel. Hi. What have you been doing? Oh, a lot of that. <laughs> uh, I've been quarantined in Syracuse with my lovely parents. Um, and I forced them to make a video with me, a recording of one of my favorite uh, songs from once pre-show catalog, Leaving of Liverpool. And I taught them three-part harmony and I forced them to put up the ring light and do the whole nine yards. So it was super fun. We had a blast doing it. Uh, we were pretty, pretty uh, alcoholed up by the end of the <laughs> recording, but we had a blast. And so this was Leaving of Liverpool. I played ex-girlfriend and do this production of once and happy to be here. Here it is. One more? Yeah, please. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Fare thee well to Prince's landing stage. Ever mercy, fare thee well. Fare thee well. I am bound for California, a land I know right well. So It's not the leaving of 
Hi, I'm Rachel Mulcahy. These are my parents, Tim and Kristen Mulcahy. We are quarantined here in Syracuse, New York. We're enjoying some beverages down in our Mulcahy basement pub. Uh, I played ex-girlfriend in Jiva Theater's production of Once. We are just hoping that everyone is safe at home and well, and wishing you a very happy belated St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> In days. Oh, love it. That's a whole. That's a whole like TV show, right? That's a. I can see. Oh a my story. god! Yeah, you guys, you and your parents could host late night. Right. We had a good time. There, there's a blooper reel coming, coming very soon. <laughs> oh. The Mulcahy's. That that wouldn't be Irish, would it, Mulcahy? Uh, no. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit, Rachel Mo. Oh, Rachel, you're the you're the uh, the love child of once, right? I am half Slovakian and half Irish. Wow. Okay. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs> Thank your parents for us. They're great sports. Of course. Great. Yeah, they have time. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Kent M. Would you? Hello. We're going to throw it over to you. How are you? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is Natalie Wisdom. Hello. She's, Hello. she's uh, <laughs> my girlfriend. I'm a once groupie. Yeah. And she's on, on hiatus from Frozen. Uh, and uh, I'm, we're lucky enough to be here in the lovely Jiva Theater since nobody else is here. <laughs> so we just hung out uh, at the space. Um, there's plenty of toilet paper. We're running out of potato chips, but it's uh, it's the best place to be. No. Uh, we're here, we're down here in Astoria, uh, but while we were up in Rochester, we uh, uh, had a great time, and uh, we wrote a little song about it, and it goes a little something like this. I just use drum, and I'll come in. <laughs> That is going uh, to stay in your head. Yes. <laughs> well, that is so great and so cute. And with all the famous people buried here, Susan B. Anthony, etc., I'm so glad that you focused on Jack the Ripper. 
Ja. Ja, das ist der big one, isn't it? Ja. All right, Frederick Douglass is here too, right? Ja, well, yeah, uh, he lived here, but. Uh, mm -hmm. No, but he's buried here, isn't he? That's what we got from the. I got. I got a thing from the local cemetery. Yeah. Found Hope Cemetery, great cemetery. Um, hey, thank you, Kent and Natalie. That was fantastic. And we're that's not the last we're going to hear of that song. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already thinking. I'm already thinking. Rochester. <laughs> hey, um, uh, Elliot, uh, over to you. And uh, where are you, my friend? Hi, everyone. Um, I am in sunny Florida. Just now I'm, in, I'm with my girlfriend and her parents uh, in their beautiful home. Uh, oh, there I am. Um, and yeah, it's been great. Uh, loving the weather so far. I haven't been burned, which is great. So that's a, it's definitely a, an accomplishment for me. If I can just, you know, as soon as I step into sunlight, I turn into a lobster. So that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's nothing to complain about. Just everything's great, and you know, just nice chilling out time like everyone else. But Thank you. anyway, right. now, now Nick Nick was wondering, of course, as Billy, whether you were going to play a song that you wrote. Yes, um, I actually, I'm going to sing a song called New Orleans that I've written. Um, I just thought it's a bit fun and like upbeat and yeah, it just kind of takes you out of the moment. It's, yeah, it was, it was written as a bit of a joke actually and people were like, you should record it. Oh. And so, yeah, so it's a bit of a fun kind of uh, cowboy bandit type of vibe. So, but anyway, I'll, I'll play it. This is New Orleans. <laughs> There's a war in for my capture in the state of Idaho. When I shot that man in traffic, he was driving so damn slow. Shots went flying. Oh no, no, I'm not lying. So how much will it cost me to disappear in New Orleans? There's a warrant for my capture in the state of Idaho when I shot that man in the trap. He was driving so damn slow, shots went flying. I'm not lying. There's a town in North Dakota where I sold that reverend's car. And the night with Susie Dawson being chased down by her car, shots went flying. Sounds 
New Orleans. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll pay you later. I'll pay you later. I'll pay you. <laughs> you know, these are the talented people who made once. And uh, if you missed the show or you want to see it again, uh, you can go to our website, jivatheater.org, and rent the three camera great video capture we did uh, of, of the show. Uh, hey, is anyone? Has anyone there seen it yet? Uh, anyone seen it? No, no, no saving it guessing. for a special occasion. Right. Exactly. Most there you go. go. My, yeah. notes, my notes are mainly for you, Mark. I'm just so busy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's really terrific. So uh, please, um, please uh, do that and see them. And you know, in costumes and scenery and and all the um, out in their out in their apartments. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, we're coming to the last uh, bit. Um, I came up with the uh, lyrics just now. Yeah. You want to hear it, Mark? Uh, EJ, do you want to talk about this last number a little bit? Uh, yeah. Hi. Am I on? Is yeah. this thing on? Always. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's so nice to see all of you. Um, like, so there are some of us who are still here in the Jiva housing, the Jiva theater was so nice to not kick us out. So today, some of us gathered in a large common space, still adhering to um, kind of distancing, even though we have been sharing a living space, basically. But um, we came together and uh, to sing and play this song called Follow the Heron. And in the, um, in the video, you'll see myself. I played uh, Reza in our production of Once. And you'll see Maggie, who um, you already saw sing today, her gorgeous voice. Yes, uh, you'll see me as well. I There's play. Adrian on I'm guitar. I'm Adrian, hi, it's nice to see all of y'all. I play Andre in the show. And, and then we have Chris St. Louis. Hey, what's up? I'm in there too. Um, I play MC. Uh, this is my lovely partner, Rebecca. Also an actor, yeah. And of course, Juan Jargo. Yeah, hi. <laughs> and uh, this is my this is my beautiful this is my beautiful partner who filmed us. Yes, he was our beautiful. Diva. Uh, J. Stephen Brantley at the camera. <laughs> yeah, so we got together, sort of together today to do this, and it was wonderful. It was so nice to be in a room making music with these people again. Yeah. <laughs> a Scottish folk song by Karina Polwart called Follow the Heron. All right.
Oh, wow. Boom. Wow. 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 Gorgeous. Six feet apart. Great. Yeah, we wish you could have all been there. We wish we could have been there. Uh, we did also have a couple takes where some guy came out right in the middle of it. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was a big fan of keeping the takes. Loved it. I was a big fan of keeping the takes where the people came out of the doors because I thought it was just too precious. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper reel. Huh? Uh, yeah. That was beautiful to see at least some of you together. Um, kind of breaks my heart, man. I know. Yeah. Right? It does. It does. Um, a fitting ending, though, to see you play music together, to hear you. Uh, I want to thank all these incredible performers. I want to give thanks to Jiva's sound supervisor turned our video engineer, Andrew Wilhelm. Woo! Making it happen. Hey. To Jiva's uh -huh. director of production turned happiness our supervising producer, Jen Lyons. Yes. Uh -huh. hey. uh -huh. uh, and thanks to all of you out there for joining us today. Uh, we'll be back next Friday at four o'clock for a different happiness hour. So please come back and join us, uh, bring some joy. Bring some happiness into your life. It's happiness for us. Um, I'm going to leave you now with a poem by Seamus Haney. Seamus Haney, another Nobel Prize winner who passed away in 2013. But uh, we met him at an Abbey Theater opening. 
uh, about 16 years ago. And uh, he was known then as famous Seamus. <laughs> Uh, the poem was written in 1984, an early one of Seamus, and it's called Slow, S-L-O-E, Gin. Slow Gin. The clear weather of juniper darkened into winter. She fed gin to slows and sealed the glass container. When I unscrewed it, I smelled the disturbed tart stillness of a bush rising through the pantry. When I poured it, it had a cutting edge and flamed like betel juice. I drink to you in smoke merled blue black slows, bitter and dependable. Thanks, everyone. Slancha. Yes. Thanks, all of you. Salud. Uh -huh. Salud. So I'll say, Ikhoi Slanawalia, which means good night and safe home.